Today's video is a how to set up dual rates and expo. In this video, we'll talk about how to set up triple rates as well. And when we use expo, how to make different planes with different throws feel the same on the sticks. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is go into dual rate and expo screen. Push enter, dual rate and expo. Now we can set this up one of two ways. We can set the rates for different control surfaces on different switches, or we can set all of them to one switch. So when you're setting up an airplane, it can say low and high rates, you know, have that for each of the surfaces, aileron, rudder, and elevator, you can just set it up on one switch and so that all three surfaces will change on low, medium, and high rate. However, if you wanna set them up on different switches, that's available as well. Cause let's say you like the medium rates of your ailerons, but you like the high rate of the elevator. So it allows you to have that flexibility in flight. I'm gonna use just some default values for this. You'll see this commonly in E-flight planes. High rate will be 100%, low rate will be 70%. So first thing I'm gonna do in the setup here is set the rates to where we're all on one switch. So we go down to aileron will be the first one we use. So let's go to switch. We're gonna to toggle our B switch. So we toggle our switch. First, we'll start with low rates. We'll dial 70% in. We'll go to mid rates. Now, that can be 70% or 100%. That would be if you only wanted two rates. Me, I like to go ahead and put low, medium, and high rates because we have a three position switch. So even if the book only calls out 70% and 100%, I go ahead and put the mid rate on 85%. So now that we've got that one, Let's go to the next surface. That's our elevator. And we're going to sign the switch. Push enter. 70%. Mid rates, 85%. Push enter. And we're going to do the rudder. Go ahead and assign that to B. 70%. Eighty-five percent, and now we have a rate set. So every control surface is on switch B. So low rates, we're going to have seventy percent for aileron, elevator, and rudder. Mid rates, Mid -rates we're going to have eighty-five percent, and then high rates we have a hundred percent. Now that we have our low, medium, and high rates set up, you can set it up on one switch, like we did. Or, as I mentioned earlier, you can set it up on different switches for different surfaces. You can either do that in the process of setting the rates, or, as I did, I just went through and I set all of our rates for each surface. And now I'm going to go in and set them for different switches. My aileron I want on B, so elevator I want on C. Scroll down, toggle the switch, push enter. And go to rudder, push enter, and we'll toggle F. Now we have our control surfaces on three different switches. So this gives you a little bit more customization in the air. Now we've got our rates set up. Let's go ahead and set up our expo. First thing we need to understand is how expo works. Expo only affects the movement towards the center. As you get out to full deflection, it's less effective and towards the end where you have full deflection, Expo doesn't work at all. As we add Expo to this surface, you're going to see towards the middle, it'll curve outwards, which is getting it off the zero Expo line. So what that does is that basically acts like you're not moving the stick as far. So we'll go in here to 100% rates. I'm going to add 35% expo so you all can see the graph over here actually with a noticeable change. As you see it goes down, comes back up, 
goes up and then comes back down. So when you're moving the stick, what that does is it actually makes it seem like you're not pulling it back as far. When you're setting this up, you'll have different expo percentages for the different amounts of rate. So if you have 100% and 35% and you go to medium rate, which is 85%, 35% Expo is actually going to be stronger because the rate is lower. So to sum that up, they go hand in hand. So you're probably sitting there thinking to yourself, well, BD, you said that you were going to show me how to make all my planes feel the same. So what about the different percentages? Well, I got you. Here we go. What you want to do is pay attention to the monitor down here. When I'm setting up my airplanes and I want to set up Expo for the maiden fly or let's say you fly the plane and you don't need Expo, that's fine too. There's no right or wrong way on how much Expo you should or shouldn't use. After I've been flying and seeing how I feel about the movement of the sticks, I concentrate down here to the number 20 and the number 11. So what that does is when you find out the spot that you like to use for Expo, no matter what the percentage is, when you find that spot you like to use for Expo, go into this screen and see what this monitor is showing you. For example, I go up to high rates and I move the stick down to 20. I always use the number 20 because that's just a number, a solid number I have that I can use it throughout the different planes and I'm using the exact same variable every time. That's what's key. If you use 15 one time, 20 the next, 25 the next, you're going to get different feels in the sticks when you're flying. You, you're, they're not going to feel the same. One might feel more responsive, one might feel less responsive. So back to it. As I mentioned, I use the numbers 20 and 11. So let's see what I've got with 100% and with 35%. I go down to minus 20, and I'm pretty much right on the money with 135, okay? You can see it's maybe off by a little bit. I could dial it up just a little, but I used 20 and 11. So let's go to medium rates. As I mentioned, when you're setting up different rates, the percentages for Expo to make it feel the same are going to be different because they go hand in hand. Expo and rate go together. The less rate you have, the less Expo will get the same results. So I'm going to go down and look at my monitor again, 20 and 11. So let's go ahead and pull the stick down. And you can see there's no Expo on the screen. So you're just going to get your normal numbers. It was minus 20 and it was 17. So let's go in here and change this to... 20 and see what we get. So pull a stick down. And we've got it's right on the dot there. So 22% is how much expo we need on 85. So let's go to low rates. Let's add 18 to this one and see what we get. We're at minus 20 and minus 10. A little bit higher in numbers, so we need to take just a little bit out. And there we go. So now our movement's going to feel the same whether we're on low, medium, or high rates. I showed you all how to use the monitor at the bottom. And no matter what we do up top, we've got a way to adjust our expo to be the same. So when we go low, medium, or high rate, we're gonna have full deflection is gonna be the same. It's gonna be 70%, 85%, or 100. So that didn't change at all. The only thing we change is towards the center to make it a little softer on the movement. As long as you use the monitor down there every time and use how I mentioned to you, get your numbers set to what you like as far as flying, Go with those numbers every time and adjust your expo based upon the rate. Because if you use that method, it doesn't matter what the rate is, you're matching the expo to get the same result. Now we finished up setting our rates and expo. 
I hope y'all learned something today and enjoyed the video. If you did either one, go ahead and push the like button. If you want to see future videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you on the next one.